What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to a, another episode of the Mellow Mondays podcast. Um, this week, we have been busy working on our new garden. That's kind of my theme for the week. Um, didn't have a whole lot going on. Just, once again, kind of busy working working a lot. Um, we've been... Yeah, we've been kind of on the grind, working pretty heavily every day, and um, yeah, just kind of getting into a rhythm, like this new work rhythm, and uh, I started a new adventure, probably, I mean, I talked about it last week in the podcast, but we started it maybe, I think a couple weeks ago, Um, got a new garden, so I've got a community garden plot here in uh, the town I live, which is pretty sick, it was like 15 bucks for a 10 by 10. So I ended up getting two spots for like 30 bucks, which is a really good deal. I mean, considering I live in an RV and have no usable land to grow anything. Um, we were growing some stuff in some containers, like some tomatoes and peppers, but it just, they weren't doing very well. Um, it's been so hot out here and all this stuff. So came across the community garden. I was like, wait, this is kind of sick. So reached out to the lady and paid the money and yeah, have the, have the garden. I've got uh, irrigation there. So we've got water and, um, I've done quite a bit to it. So I planted, I think it was like two weeks ago and I planted at a really tough day. Like for one, I don't know what I'm doing. Like I'm not a gardener. Um, I, I want to get into it more. A lot of the people I work with are kind of getting into it. So I was like, well, maybe we'll try some stuff. I want to make some salsas. We're growing some other stuff, but, um, I don't really know what I'm doing. So I bought some stuff from a nursery. You know, they were all in a greenhouse. And then I immediately brought them to the plot and planted them. So long story short, a lot of the stuff like went into transplant shock, um, especially my eight tomato plants, which I'm very sad about. So I was hoping that we could save them. It's, yeah, not looking like we could save them. So they're pretty much toast. So I actually ripped them out last night and put in some new tomato plants. So you're supposed to do like this thing that's called hardening, um, where once you come from a greenhouse, especially in like dry climates like this, especially I I guess at elevation, um, you let them sit outside in the shade for like a couple days. And that just allows them to get acclimated to the lack of humidity and that sort of thing. So I definitely did not do that at the beginning. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're learning our lessons. So that was like 40 bucks down the drain, which is fine. But, uh, I planted a bunch of other stuff as well. I've planted, um, four kale plants, three broccoli, four Brussels sprouts, two cauliflower. And then I actually just picked up some more jalapenos. So I have four jalapeno plants. Um, but I got the little market in the town I work. They had a little farmer's market and they had some plants there. So I bought a couple jalapenos and habaneros. And then we have like another spicy um, pepper. And um, I also bought some mini pumpkins. Um, I don't know. I just wanted to try something new. So it's it's all starting to look a little better. It's cooled down, which is nice. It was so hot. I mean, I planted them. It was like 96 to 98 every day. Pure sun, not a cloud in the sky. Really dry, just direct sunlight. So a lot of the stuff kind of went into shock. But it's looking a lot better this week, which is awesome. We've had some rain. A lot of cloudy skies, lower temps, so I think today is only supposed to be like upper 70s, sunny, and then later in the week I think clouds are supposed to move in and maybe a little more rain, which is perfect. So we're just kind of easing these plants in, so I just, yeah, like I said, planted some new stuff last night, and um, I don't know, we're making mistakes and we're learning, like I I got this plot, I did most of it by hand um, as far as like tilling up the ground, so... I actually have a video on my YouTube channel of making the garden. So if you, I don't know if you're watching this on YouTube, go check it out. If you haven't seen it, it's, it's kind of cool. Like I, I'm pretty proud of how the plot looks. Like it went from really overgrown and grassy to like a legitimate, like, okay, this is a plot of land that you can grow stuff in, which is sick. Um, a lot of work. I wanted to do it all by hand, but I was kind of rushed and my um, fiance's family was coming into town. So I didn't have like evenings free to go work on it. So I was like, all right, I got to get this done in one day. So I broke down in the afternoon and went and got a tiller, which I should have done from the beginning because I could have done the whole thing in like an hour instead of like six hours. But uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm glad I did part of it by hand. I wanted to try it at least. And um, yeah, it, it was a lot of work, but I'm glad we glad we did a little bit of it. And, um, yeah, I got the tiller, tilled it all up. And then a couple days later went in and planted. And I think I made some mistakes. I didn't dig the holes wide enough. I didn't break the ground up enough. I think my mixture was a little off as well. 
Um, I did like manure and in-ground potting soil, but I probably should have mixed the existing soil with in-ground potting soil and I didn't feed them. I fed them granule, um, like plant food and I didn't use the, whatever. There's all these different things that I'm learning and trying to figure out. So yesterday I was really diligent, got everything planted um, fed it with some some plant food immediately. Made sure it was watered, but not too watered because I think I overwatered some stuff when I first put them in, and uh, then fed everything else. And um, I've got a little fence up around it with some chicken wire just to keep stuff out. And been throwing like earthworms and stuff in there. I don't know. So we're just we're we're trying it out and uh, just learning new things. Like I said, I don't I really have no idea what I'm doing. My grandparents are like master gardeners. So I've been calling them like every day trying to figure, okay, should I do this? Should I not do that? Like, what should I do? And, um, I don't know. It's fun to learn a new skill. And that's the kind of something I talked about at the beginning of this year. Like right when we got out to Colorado is like something I want to do this year is, um, try new things and, um, and fail at things and get better. Like, cause I hate like when my tomato plants died and everything was not doing well, like I just get so like sad. I was so mad about it and I was sad. I was like, Oh, this is the worst thing ever. I hate like failing at something and um, making mistakes. So this is one of those like good learning curve opportunities of just like learning how to do a new skill. And I think it's a pretty valuable skill. Um, especially right now with the price of things, I don't know. It's like, it's fun to be able to possibly grow your own food and especially stuff that we enjoy to eat. And, um, yeah, the big plan is to make a bunch of salsas. I really like hot salsa. So that's my kind of like end goal. And, uh, some people I work with, we have a funny little idea going frying pan farms. That's our, uh, our new adventure. So we're, uh, we're working on some things. We'll see if it, uh, we'll see if it ever comes to fruition, but it's kind of a fun little idea that we're all doing together. And, um, yeah, I don't know. It's just one of those deals where I wanted to learn something new. And I wanted to, yeah, go for it. And luckily I live in a town that had this little plot available and I can really have a pretty good sized plot of land for very minimal expense. Um, especially, like I said, living in the RV, not having any space outside. I went and bought a little herb garden. Well, not herb, I'm going to plant it today, but bought a bunch of herbs yesterday as well. And uh, we'll be planting those today. So I'm just, I don't know, trying to get a little more sustainable. Like I think it's, I don't know. There's this thing living in Colorado and doing all these things. It's like, okay, I want to be able to know how to grow some of my own food. It's fun. It's therapeutic. It has nothing to do with fishing. So it, it can be relaxing. Like I can just go and decompress and garden for a little bit when I get off work and then come home. Like I, it's forcing me to get up a little earlier and I go and water every morning. You know, I mean, there's all these little routine things that I'm just trying to get um, get into the habit of and just learn uh, learn a new skill. And if I guess if I could, you know, my tip of the day or whatever piece of advice I guess like don't be afraid to I don't know try something new because it's it's fun um, and if you don't like it it's all good I mean maybe don't go like of course I went all out like I should have just chilled out for a little bit but it's like <laughs> I immediately went to like planting 26 plants or something and it's like this huge garden I should have st maybe started a little smaller but uh, whatever I just I can't just do something like halfway I gotta go all the way in so um I don't know. That's my piece of advice. If there's something that you've been thinking about wanting to get into or try or learn about, like I would just encourage you to take that step and yeah, just, uh, I don't know, just go for it. There's nothing, there's no harm in it. I mean, obviously if it's like a $20,000 activity, maybe check your finances or something. But if it's something that's relatively easy to get into and learn, take a class or whatever, like, uh, yeah, I don't know. Just, uh, don't be afraid to take that step because I've kind of jumped into this and not knowing what I'm doing at all. And, um, honestly, I've really, I don't know, I've really enjoyed it. I, I've enjoyed learning and it's been frustrating and I've gone through a lot of different emotions, but uh, now that I'm starting to get the hang of it and things are starting to look better, it's like, okay, I feel like I know a little bit more than I did. I still know absolutely nothing like when it comes to the gardening world, but I feel like I know a little bit more than I did when I started, which is, uh, I don't know, it's the goal. So that's my, uh, that's been my week. Yeah. We're just, busy with work. We're getting into our busy season, so we'll see um, kind of how the podcast progresses. I, I plan to release an episode every week. Um, it just may be, uh, I don't know, we'll see how it progresses, but uh, we're still kind of chilling right now. Busy, but not as busy as we could be. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys uh, next week. And uh, this has been another episode of the Mellow Mondays podcast. Peace. Peace.